I have a fascination with artificial intelligence and I thought it would be fun to have AI choose the books that I read. And I even let it write in an intro. Welcome to AI Bookshelf, where artificial intelligence meets your bookshelf and the stories you'll uncover are beyond your wildest imagination. Stay tuned because your next great read is just a click away. Okay guys, let's go to my little AI guy and see what he's got to say. Now, let me just say that I've already talked to him. Yeah, I've already talked to him a little bit just to see if it worked. And that's the recommendation I got, but we're not going to be doing that. So I'm going to ignore his recommendations. Sorry, my little AI guy. I'm just going to say, hey, can't you choose, choose between two books for me? I can't decide. I can't spell. <laughs> Sure, what are the two books you're trying to decide between? Okay, so the first book that I'm deciding between is Powerless by Elsie Silver. And a fl there's very different genres too. Flirt in the Dark by Cece Willingham. Let's see what he says. <gasps> he said, I would recommend A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love how he's still there like waiting for me to answer. I'm like, no. I guess we are reading A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. I'm excited about I really wanted to read Powerless though. The universe must be wanting me to read this book because I actually did this because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use Snapchat AI or Chat GPT, but it's really, really hard for Chat GPT to make a decision. It's like pulling teeth for Chat GPT to pick something. I'm like, girl. You're just as indecisive as me. Come on, figure it out. <laughs> I guess we're reading A Flicker in the Dark with Stacey Willingham. Let's get reading. Hi guys. Um, so I have finished A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. Basically it is about this woman and when she was 12 her dad had killed six girls and he was sent to prison and like this like obviously had a really big effect into her and then it's 20 years later and the same thing is happening all over again. So our main character is kind of figuring out what's going on. I liked it. It was interesting i did enjoy it it just took a really long time to get anywhere which i know i say that a lot about books like i feel like it takes takes a long time to get to the point but i do feel like in this book it took forever to get to the point i didn't feel like our main character was like i don't know she just didn't like get anywhere i don't know i was just genuinely like what what are you doing? Like, what's going on? You're just here, like, doing nothing. You're wasting my time. But when we got there, it was really good. We started, like, being like, oh, what if this happened? Oh, what if this? What if... And she's, like, trying to connect all the dots. And then, like, and then you're like, okay, this is, like, kind of good now. I enjoyed it more than I thought it was going to. The ending did get me. Like, the twist got me. I had, like, obviously you're getting thrown onto one path and then it's a completely different other thing. So... I gave it three and a half stars. The twist really got me and I really, I thought it was satisfactory for what it was. Hi, I actually had another book planned out. Like AI chose a different book. The thing is like, I want to get this video out as soon as possible. I've not even started reading that book and it's really long, so I'm just not going to do it. So we're going to ask AI to choose another pick book, not pick. I don't know why I said that. Girl, can you pick out my next book for me? <laughs> We're just gonna make him choose because I don't wanna read any of the books he suggested. And also all the suggestions he keeps giving me, I've already read them. We're just gonna have him choose between two thrillers I wanna read. These are The House Maid by Frida McFadden. I really wanna read The Last, I think it's The Last Word or Last Call by Taylor. I don't remember her name. Between The Housemaid or The Last Word by Taylor. I would recommend The Housemaid. It's a captivating story with a unique perspective on domestic suspense. Okay. Thanks, girl. You're welcome, girl. <laughs> like how he calls me girl, too. I've been wanting to read this book for a hot second, and I know there's a sequel, and I just, I'm in the mood for a thriller. Let's get to reading. Say something now. Go, go, go. Nothing to say, nothing to add. Oh. Loser. 
Okay, anyways, back to me. I am 50% of the way through the housemaid and so far i'm actually really liking it it's a good thriller the thing is like it there's like a part of me like it doesn't want to read it because it's a thriller <laughs> and it's like icky kind of not icky the woman nina is like bad crazy like she is like crazy something just happened where i was like yes yes I think something's gonna go down pretty soon because at the beginning of the book it foreshadows obviously there's something happening like the police are over or whatever but I just like I'm trying to think like what it could be you know like I just don't I don't know I don't know if it's gonna be like Nina is dead or whatever the husband is I don't remember his name he's dead or like I don't know I don't know who it is. I am interested to see where the story goes because we just kind of got to like a big turning point in this book. Something's about to go down. I can already feel it. That's what I got so far. I'm gonna keep reading and I'll update you if I have any updates. Say bye. 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 <laughs> So I have finished The Housemaid by Freedom McFadden and I liked it. It was very thrilling and I'm very, um, and it was kind of like eerie-ish, which is like what I like look for in a thriller. I want something to like keep me going. And this book did do that to me. There was a part where I was like, what is gonna happen? However, I do kind of see how in this book it is kind of obvious, like, what's gonna happen or not even what's gonna happen but like the plot twist it is kind of obvious I feel like I, even from the beginning of the book it's a little obvious I don't know I did enjoy this book I gave it four stars like looking back at it I'm like that was so obvious why didn't I not get that but I did enjoy there's like a plot twist there's like two I feel like big plot twists the first one was like okay I probably should have clocked that and the second one got me. So that's why I gave it four stars. Because I was like, oh, that makes sense. It is time to ask my little AI guy what I should be reading next. My last book. Um, what do I want to tell him? God, I'm nervous. <laughs> what do I tell him? What do I ask? I don't know. I don't want to read any of these books. So I'm just going to give him two choices. He's going to have to just live by it. I'm going to say either power. I've been wanting to read... Powerless by Lauren Roberts, which is a fantasy romance. How about Foul Lady Fortune? I have been wanting to read that one for a long time too, and I have not read it. Maybe I'm thinking Foul Lady Fortune or The Atlas Six. Maybe he'll give him, actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna give him The Atlas Six. I think he's gonna choose The Atlas Six because it's prob it's more known. Let's see. Oh no, wait. Oh yeah, he said The Atlas Six. I was like, oh my god, he's gonna choose Powerless because he gave me, like, the book was Powerless first. I would recommend The Atlas Six. It is a captivating mystery thriller. What? I did not think that. I didn't think it was a mystery thriller. I thought it was a fantasy. Oh well, I'll do it. Okay, thank you so much. So, let me go get my book. Let me go get it. My AI guy told me to read The Atlas Six by Olive E. Blake. I have had this for so long and I've been wanting to read it for a long time now oh my god there's people that is so cool they, that just gave it like 50 bonus points that is wait is that like that on all of them oh my god okay he why he why he look like that <laughs> trying to seduce me thank you ai guy even though i kind of forced you into choosing between two books because all of your other book recommendations were ass just kidding they weren't ass i just didn't want to read them so let's go ahead and get started reading sucks deal with it i don't want to turn around i'm on page 159 of the atlas six and i feel like i really haven't like updated what i've been feeling but i do have some like things i want to say what i think so far is i 
am enjoying this, but I'm not loving it. I don't know. I think because we get six different perspectives in this book, it's really hard to like gravitate towards a character. Um, I think some of the perspectives are interesting, but like I don't care to read about them, you know? I kind of wish we followed one person and then that would be the end of it. Because I, I get why she did six different perspectives, but also it's hard to like care about them. It's just very overwhelming, I think. And also my second complaint is the f text in this book is itty bitty. If you can see that, the text in this is so tiny and I hate it so much. I had to literally download it on my Kindle because I hated how tiny it was so I could read it. I don't know, I guess I don't feel like one way or the other about the book. I do think it's interesting. I can't really tell where the story is gonna go. I do think like this book is like a very like vibes book. Like this book is just supposed to be like dark academia vibes. Like they're in the library and it's like a little bit gothic and like stuff like that. Like it's supposed to be like a vibe book I think. Thing is I feel like I really don't even get that much of like a dark academia vibe. Not enough for me to be like oh yeah this is just straight vibes. The characters are like not that good. The plot's not that good but the vibe vibes are just immaculate. Like I can't really like tell you that. For what has been going on it's a little bit boring. I don't know. I guess I just feel kind of indifferent by this book. Like I like it but not enough for me to like keep wanting to read it. Like it's just not like capturing my attention. Like I'll read maybe a couple of pages a day and then like set it back down. Like it's just not like I said it's just not really clicking for me. But that's my update. I will see you if I have anything else to say. Okay so I'm done with the Atlas Six. Not saying I finished this book. I really was like trying to like finish it. But guys, this is the one of the most boring books I have ever read. <laughs> There's like maybe like a little bit of stuff happening and then nothing happens for so long. Nothing in this book happens. I went on Reddit <laughs> and I looked up the ending to this book because I genuinely cannot get through it. Like I literally started a whole book yesterday finished it started it and finished it so I know it's not a me problem like reading problem like I'm in a slump it's definitely the book it cannot capture my attention at all as well as I just don't think I liked the characters either so like that's that too so i'm low-key dnfing this book but i technically know what happens at the end of the book and there's like also just parts of this book that i haven't overall really liked it's been okay so for that reason i technically dnf'd this book but i'm gonna give it two stars like I said, I think some of the writing is good and I think the concept of this book is so good and I like read the ending and the ending does sound interesting but it's not enough for me to justify reading the next book of the series or even continue reading the Atlas Six. I'm just kind of over it and I don't care anymore. And that was kind of the way to end this video but that's it. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.